Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep, welcome back to Pacific Paradise and welcome back to this island that we find ourselves on, an island that's seen better days where you see somebody, somebody has crashed an aircraft carrier onto it, yep, 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 last time we came here we we found the endgame carrier and then we had to sail away, sail away, sail away because, well, I forgot to bring any form of shelter or, you know, sleeping bag or anything to this island, so... We went over there, we got some bits and pieces, we came here and, well, um, food and water stitches, oh, pretty far down actually, so let's grab some water, let's grab a, a ration pack from the, from the food, because we brought a lot of ration packs, we brought a lot of stuff, but what we forgot to bring, I mean, was quite important uh, in terms of food and things, we found a couple of crabs last time, they ran at us and they were like, oh, I'd like to be your friend, allow me to bite you on the bottom when I was like I'm not really into that thanks um yeah so the endgame carrier this is for all intents and purposes a, a standard island a standard island with no trees because well the bit where the trees would be there is now an aircraft carrier and also there are I'm pretty sure there are two sharks around here so they're going to be tiger sharks they're going to be uh, hammerheads they're going to be the, the standard sharks that you get on on standard islands uh, you will have to swim up far enough for them to trigger and then they will do the usual I want to bite your face off tactic of swimming around and biting your face off there are a few other things to note there are holes in the water mesh because where the uh, where the carrier has been dragged through the sand um the game really doesn't like jagged sand island mesh and where the water and the the island meet if it's not smooth smooth like an android's bottom well you're gonna get gaps so expect that um otherwise we've got to go up we've got to go up and have a look there is basically only one way up and it's here so don't don't um don't feel that you can just walk around the entire thing and look for another hole there is only one hole and i've just ugh, i just beansed it i just beansed it oh 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 okay yeah this area is fairly new i think it um i think it really came in in the big world update it was there prior in the uh uh, in the experimental version, which we are currently on, so all the experimental stuff that uh, this added to the game, we will be getting um, straight up. But yeah, uh, this is all in the main game at the moment. If you're on the PC branch or PC version, there was a seagull that just went straight through that ceiling. That's weird. Uh, there should be a little bit of optimization because this area, even on... That's a seagull again. What What is going on? Um, even on a very powerful PC with SSDs and uh, uh, like a Ryzen and everything, uh, there's there's some sort of frame drops around here. So that's kind of an interesting thing. Those seagulls. What? Why? It's like going into a supermarket, finding a bird in there. Anyway, uh, the door. Let's open the door. Okay, interesting. Apart from the fact that seagull is now bouncing around the inside and we, we did a little oof as we came through, sounding like we got hurt, but... Oh yeah, no, no, we did get a little hurt. Just a tiny little pain as we came through the door. Just the tiniest amount. How weird. Also, we didn't eat that Russian. Mmm, it was delicious. And it's tippy topped us up. Okay, so this looks like... Mmm... The question is, is this ba is this an aeroplane based off something in real life? Is this the Nakajima A6M2-N? Uh, well the cockpits don't quite look the same. The A6M2-N obviously, obviously based off the Mitsubishi A6M0. I mean, the main float looks the same, as do the Sponsons. But, hmm, okay, right. I mean, it, it's it's close enough. It's close enough. We have a radial engine at the front. Uh, it's missing a propeller, so we're going to need to add water here. We're going to need to add fuel here. We're going to need to repair the prop. We're going to need to repair the engine. We're going to need to repair the cockpit. Uh, there is a... There he is. Little rubber duck. Little rubber duck. Just on the inside. If you complete the game, so if you get in here and fly off, uh, I believe when you... If you uh, restart the game, like New Game Plus, your raft will have the rubber duck in it and a carbon version of the spear gun and carbon spear gun arrows. So it is worth actually completing the game. This is something we might actually have to 
do. Um, okay, there are some major components missing. Otherwise, there's a hole in the wing. Um, there's something on the wing. Oh, it's me with my little, uh, I was going to say kidney heels, but no uh, ballet flats. Uh, are the flaps missing? How, how are you supposed to fly without flaps? That is, that's not right. There are every other, oh yeah, the gyrocopter part. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So if you uh, if you played the game before and you're just like, I don't know where to find the gyrocopter part. It's here. It's here. Pick it up, put it in your pants. And then you can build the gyrocopter, which makes getting back here a lot easier. Gyrocopter part. It's in my pants. Gyrocopter part. It's in my pants. Why do we need three gyrocopter parts? Are we making a fleet of gyrocopters? I don't know. Somebody get James Bond on the phone. Um, so we got the food. So yeah. Yeah, we're going to need to come back, uh, repair the bits that need to be repaired, and then gas up and everything. Those birds. What is wrong with you? It's not the worst thing that I'm looking at right now. The worst thing that I'm looking at right now is the fact that somebody decided to put a hangar on the flight deck of an aircraft carrier. Just, just kind of mull that over for a moment. Why would somebody put a building on a runway? I, I don't know. I mean, I mean, at this point during the Second World War, people weren't putting buildings in front of aircraft. It's how you squash them. And also, this would have been steam and not a rope catapult. I don't think anyone was using rope catapults back then. Um, other thing to note: this says zero seven, which is. I mean, if you see it in a forum, or if you see it like Eve Online, or uh, I think Elite Dangerous, zero seven is like a little dude saluting, and I don't know if they they meant that. So when you uh, if you save on the island and then you you look um, on the menu, now you have a top down view of the aircraft carrier, and it has a little zero seven, like a little dude saluting. Um, we are quite high up. I don't want to get too close to the edge because I don't know if we'll slip. We certainly will break something and or slash die not quite happy about that not right now i'm not seeing any sharks but like they do spawn when you get into the water so okay we've seen this we've got the gyrocopter parts we can now head home uh the shadows are still bugged don't don't adjust your tv sets don't worry about it i don't think we can do anything here i think this is supposed to be bomb damage uh yes yeah yeah that's bomb damage I'm not entirely sure we can get into the um, into the island. So the superstructure on the aircraft carriers it would be called the island, and that's where that's where the command and control um, and everything is. No, we can't. We can't do that. There's, there, are, there are doors here. The doors don't go anywhere, Earth Chum. Look at that. There's nothing in there. Okay, this is uh, probably transparent. Yeah. I think that's just a transparency on that mesh. Yeah, we're not we're not going in. Uh, nope, nope, we're not going in there. We're not breaking the game. Okay, fine. Barrels, but barrels don't do anything. Those are those are inert barrels. Yeah. So this is and that's that's the way down. So we can fix the. Oh, I wonder if there is anything over here. Let's just have a little look. Let's just have a little look. It, it still bothers me. It still bothers me that there is an absolutely. I don't know why. I don't know why it's here. Um, nope. Nope. Just decoration. I don't think you open up either. Nope. Nope, you don't. Uh, anything just kicking around. May as well just do a once round while we're here before heading home. Uh, nope. 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 Oh, look. It's in, in, in amongst the rubble, there's, there's another engine part. That. Okay, so I think I've worked this one out. That was the last person who tried to land on this carrier and then ended up flying into a building because he wasn't expecting it. So yeah, um, that's the way out of the game. Why is... I mean, it's almost as if they wanted to build a flight deck carrier, which is a cruiser that's had a flight deck built on top of it, and then gone, you know, we could just turn it into an actual aircraft carrier. Hmm, not entirely sure about that, lads. Or you could have done, I mean, the Japanese were building submarines, aircraft carrying submarines, which were essentially two submarines side by side, which would give them stability. And then in between, they put a pressurized uh, hangar and that allowed them to have, I think it was three aircraft on the inside. 
And one of the cool things is that they could actually run heated engine engine oil around the engines in order to warm them up, in order to prepare them for going and uh, taking off and performing operations against mainland America. However, that never happened. They found these things. The aircraft carriers were unbelievably big. I mean, we're talking unbelievably big. Okay, so crab, crab, you did. I'm gonna pick up the box. You can come with me. You can go. You can get in my pants along with the gyrocopter parts. So it turns out we didn't need. Don't need the shelter. I don't think. Uh, 3:40 in the afternoon. Yeah, I think what we could probably do is just head back. Um, I'm gonna check the fuel and water and everything. So we got plenty of gas. We used just under half a tank getting here, and we we sort of uh, futzed around by going to that island over there. I like the fact that the keel is out of the water there. And there is actually... So these are shoreline rocks, and that one there is a cliff piece that's been buried in the ground to give it that sort of green texture on the top. Interesting. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, okay, so if once we get the gyrocopter, we can just fly back. I think that's definitely a thing that we should do. Uh, Tom of Walker's on. Nope, nope. Come, come with me. Uh, come, my lady. Come, come, my lady. Uh, nope. Okay, cool. Right, good. Water. It's not a bad thing having this stuff here, actually. Okay. Uh, oh, we'll, we'll leave that for the time being. Um, raw floor. What, what's the time? Four. Five, six. We've only got, we've got less than two hours of light. We can get back to b -b 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 that island over there. Why is the what's up with the music? There is something. Oh, big zero seven there as well. Probably get back to. Hmm. There's an island there. If I move it to the edge of the screen, there should be the starting island. Is it that one there, or is it that one there? I am very disorientated. I think it's probably that one there. I don't know. It's nearly five o'clock. It's going to get dark if we don't get going. Um, okay, pretty hot. This is a bad idea, but hey, since when have I ever had a good idea? All right, um, swing a left and head out into the sea with half a tank of gas, um, half a pack of rations, half a tank of gas. Oh, that's not good. Wait. Uh, oh, is that the? So if you move the move it to the side of the screen, move whatever you're looking at to the side of the screen. Because of the way field of view works, it kind of it appears closer and renders slightly closer. So we're gonna skip across the waves. One of the reasons I wanted to have the motor working before we tried to get to the aircraft carrier was well, speed, 100% faster. We we're going faster, better better access to the internet. I think that's the starting island. And the reason I want to go back to the starting island before going back to our home island is because I know there's a shelter. I know there's two water stills. I know there's a loom. Of all things, we could weave a pretty rug at the setting of the sun. What What witchcraft? I don't know. Um, we are over deep water, though, because of the new world... Like all the all the islands, all fifty freaking islands. There's fifty islands now. Would you believe it? And there's huge amounts of deep water, which means there's loads and loads of chances for things like whales and great whites and uh, goblin sharks and things to spawn, which is not my favourite. Um, I think the sailfish haven't actually been updated. That's one of the one of the big issues. Boop, as we run through the chocolate coloured sea. Mm, it looks delicious, but I wouldn't drink it. It will be salty and cold. Let's uh, skip over here. Let's hope we don't hit a rock, because we just can't see the rocks. Uh, I think there's one there. Yeah, there is. So we will just hit the hit the island. Full speed ahead. Boom. Off you go. Off you go, me old son. Uh, whip you up. Do we have a torch in our pants? Yes, we do. I want to... I, let, let me get on top of you. Right, cool. Thank you. Um, as we we kind of missed the sun, whoop, sun going down. The sun has gone down on what was a kind of uh, 
a day of discovery, really. Yeah, that was interesting. So we're back on the starting island. At least I hope this is the starting island. Otherwise, I'm lost. Um, if you are lost in the game, save, build a shelter, do a, do a little save, and then go back to the main menu, and then you can look up the... Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, you can look up the cartographer, and the cartographer will show you kind of exactly where you are in the world. It's not the best, because if you're trying to look for things like the boss monsters, those guys are kind of out in the middle of the ocean and you have to kind of comb backwards and forwards. You can kind of work out how well you are doing that by um, by the waves, because the waves go in one direction. Ah, did you not know this? Yes, they do. I've got the lantern out as a physics object, um, because that will give us more light than if we didn't have it out. So no lantern lantern physics object lantern physics object with torch so that's a that's a cool thing i don't think there's going to be anything in here raft storage no we emptied the raft storage excellent unfortunately we can't bring the little yellow raft with us it's a cool thing to have we can't bring it with us um i'm not entirely sure where home island is i think it's sort of beyond that island over there so we're gonna to have to spend the night here but like I said, this was the starting island, and we built a ridiculous amount of stuff here initially. What is up with the music? Oh, potatoes. Oh, hello. Fancy seeing you here. Um, and water stills. So the water stills... Oh, they actually have water in them. Mmm, delicious. Uh, the other thing about having a lantern as well as a torch is if you want to do stuff at night... You can actually see yourself doing things. So we'll pick up the fibrous leaves. Fibrous leaves. Uh, there's going to be more. Oh, 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 well, uh, there it is. There it is. Got it. I got it. So we'll put the fibrous leaves in there. I think we've got... We came out with a bunch of them. I'm not sure where they are. Probably on the raft somewhere. But we'll we'll top the still up. Stills up. Uh, it is... Uh, well, it's half seven at night. Food and water is okay. We've recovered the tiny little amount of damage that we took opening the door to the uh, uh, to the hangar. The hangar on the aircraft carrier. Why is there a hangar on the aircraft carrier? I don't know. We're going to save. And we're going to sleep. As we awake. Uh, well, it's not too bad. It's 5.30, so we've got about another half hour before the sun comes up. And the sun's going to come up in the opposite direction. It went down, so it's kind of that direction maybe question mark uh well that's i mean we'll, we'll soon find out we'll soon find out we'll go over to the little yellow boat orange and yellow apparently sharks sharks get really excited by the color yellow it's a good color to have if you happen to be on the open ocean because aircraft and, and people will be able to see you but i think sharks get super agitated by the color yellow and we'll go and nom it down like an old twix which kind of makes yellow wetsuits a little bit questionable. That's why my wetsuit is blue and red. And you, you might say, but dude, you are afraid of the open ocean. And I will say, yes, I am afraid of the open ocean. Absolutely terrified of deep water. But if you don't do things that terrify you, what's the point of life? Boom, the light. The sun comes up on another beautiful day in Pacific Paradise. Yeah, that's uh, that's another... I mean, the sky. The sky is always beautiful. If your computer is not powerful enough to render the uh, the, the, the clouds, don't worry, you will have, still have clouds as part of the sky box. So you will never not have clouds. And the water. The water around the islands is always more calm, stiller. It is, it is a little bit better than the uh, water out at sea. So I believe, uh, if I move to the left-hand uh, left side of the screen, yeah, okay. So the island on the far left hand side of the screen, sort of what I mean by field of view, looking in directly is kind of hard to see, but moving it all the way over to the left hand side of the screen, can kind of see it. I think that's our home island. So our home island is kind of over there. We should have plenty of fuel to get there. Lantern, you may get in my... Whoa, hang on a sec. Something I haven't noticed. There's a solar panel on top of that lantern, which kind of explains why they carry on forever. Excellent. Nice. I hadn't realised that. Um, this is just one of the big, big old school torches from uh, X-Files. They genuinely do go on forever. 
It's like, I, I put the batteries in there six months ago and I don't think they're ever going to go out. And then they, they eventually will. It's probably one of those big brick batteries. If you want to get more electricity out of it, you, you literally warm it up by putting it in your pants. But why did you put everything in your pants? Uh, because it's warm? Batteries like it? I don't know. Don't don't at me. We're not wearing a backpack. We've got all of these slots. Where where do you think everything's going? I mean, the the character models literally have no backpack, and I know you can create a tool belt, but hey, the tool belt's kind of a little bit less than useless. I think they still. Whoop. Oh no! Oh no! No, please! Oh no! No! Well, that beans it. Um. Okay. Right. Hmm. So we can get it out this way. I was just going to carry it over the island so we didn't have to sail around the outside like the buffalo girls. Um, speaking of cool... Ah, no. No. Speaking of cool things. Um, what's that film? You know the film where they build the Wicker Man? The Wicker Man. Yes. Um, that film was actually... The original film was filmed nearby. Not that, not that many miles away. In fact, Hello. they wouldn't actually have a Wicker Man now over here, though, because it's uh, it's way too wet. Rains almost all of the time. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to light it. Is that the only reason? Um, yeah, I think so. Oh, and the fact that it's just not nice to set people on fire. Uh, okay, so let's get this in the water. Sploosh, sploosh, sploosh. They actually redid the Wicker Man, uh, the film, with Nicolas Cage, and it was terrible. It was terrible. There were bees in it. Um, oh, speaking of terrible travesties against film, I believe they may actually be reworking uh, Short Circuit, the film with the robot from the 80s, with... Uh, Steve Gutenberg and Ali Sheedy and I'm just like why why would you do this is Hollywood that bankrupt they need to go back and just just ravage old uh, old IPs I mean just just leave it alone you tried it with war games and it didn't work come on guys if anything like a Lost Boys 2 no just just leave it at the first film and, and have done with it they already made a short circuit too it wasn't Man, it wasn't that good, gonna be honest. Is that noise? That's. Is that shark? Is that shark noise? I don't know. Are we being followed? Ah, we've been followed by a shadow, that's a little bit worrying. Hmm. I don't know. The sharks do have the ability to move very, very quickly if. Um if they're chasing the player and then they will slow down once they get into a, a like a zone close up to the player yeah this does look like our island no I, I think I got my head uh, headset really quite far down because I just I don't like the <laughs> I don't like the shark noise and the bloops and the bloops 38 days survived excellent um, but we're drifting we're not gonna drift that far I'm gonna be oh I don't like any of this Okay, uh, I think we can just, we could just kind of, uh, we could just kind of Austin Powers it. Okay, right, okay. Bloosh, bloosh. Ah, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We could just walk straight onto it. Actually, why have we never done this? Oh, just because it's really awkward to actually just park our, uh, park our raft there. Is it just me? Is the, the music is just very, very sinister. But what shouldn't be sinister? Is that just... Oh, oh God. It's a black teeth reef shark. Okay, you're, you're cool. You're one of the cool guys. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. I wonder if we've been away long... Oh, we need to check our farming stuff. I forgot about that. All the beans and the bits and the bops. Um, the crab is still dead where we left him. Yes, he is. Okay, uh, cool. You're in water. I guess the tide must be in. I'm going to leave you over here for the time being. Don't be scary. Uh, okay, cool. So we'll hibbity hop up here. 
Hit me hop over here. I was looking at the news earlier. Speaking of, why is, the, why is that crate on the beach? What? I'm going to have to investigate that. I'll come back to why that's significant in, in a moment. Um, yeah, I was looking at the news earlier and apparently orca, orcas, which are killer whales, are going around biffing up boats in the uh, in the North Atlantic. They're all off the coast of Portugal, just, just having a fun time breaking people's rudders and trying to bash open the hulls of people's boats and everyone's like, oh no, the orcas, oh, they're going rogue. I'm like, well, why don't you try and communicate with them, you know, like you would an alien? Just pop a speaker in the water and play them some music, you know, like that film with the aliens. First contact? Nope, nope, nope. That was James Cromwell getting drunk and dancing with some Vulcans who were very confused about the whole thing. Yeah, this the water hasn't gone down significantly. It's gone down a little bit, so that's not too, too bad. All right, let's grab some water from here. What? Oh, can't hold any more water. Hmm, okay, these... I'm, I'm liking the fact that these are holding more water than normal. So we'll go one, two, three, four. There's mashed potato in it. I can't remember. But yeah, um, if you've got some whale beasties and they're doing some dodgy stuff, just play them some music. Put a speaker in the water. Play them a bit of Mozart. Play them a bit of Wagner. See how they react to that. Don't play them Cardi B. Uh, I don't know what a Cardi B is, I just know they exist, and I know that it's probably something neither me or Wales would probably like. Ooh, 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 play them the Cowboy Bebop intro music. Uh, it's called Tank, and it's really, really good. Um, I can tell you a lot more about it, but I'm not going to. So, hey, these are, these, these are the survivors, um little campsites, little shelters, and if you have a custom island, this is a custom island, you can put them down. And sometimes they have things like, uh, like little boxes, like this. Now this technically is a physics object while it's being, uh, while the island is being generated, but once it's down, it's not a physics object anymore. You can't do anything with it and you can't interact with it. So this should actually be over there. So I'm I'm kind of yeah. I think this for the moment, as for the point of generation, this will be a physics object. But once it's generated, it just doesn't move. I think if we go far enough away and then come back, um, it will be redrawn and it won't be there anymore. So that's kind of a, an interesting thing. Like, like the bottom of the ocean. If you if you've seen the little purple poison boys, the purple starfish, um, they, I mean, we've had one here, but the thing is the bottom of the ocean, uh, when you leave the island tile and come back again, all of that gets redrawn. So the position of the coral, the rocks and things, uh, sometimes you have a problem getting into a boat. Here, however, not a problem. Look at this. Look at this. The rock is still there. That I rec recognise that from last time, so that's fine. The music is is fairly sinister, though. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. Um, so we do have a giant pig who's going to respawn at some point. Uh, we also have a crab. Oh yeah, we, we just <laughs> we just tossed a load of stuff down on the island. Um, let's get the water situation here sorted out, though. So let's get this done. We have just taken a trip across the ocean, so there's one more thing that I'd like to check before we... Ooh. Smoke for... Smoke small mish... Mish... Smoke small fish meat. There we go. Why am I shouting that? It's just me. I'm just... What am I, just angry at myself because I, I left the meat out? Probably. It's like coming back to the refrigerator and finding that there's an empty carton of milk. And it's like, why is there an empty carton of milk here? And it's like, what? You, you live on your own. I mean, who are you going to blame? It's just you, my dude. Oh, yeah. Well, I'll just wash it out and recycle it, I guess. Um, so, empty hands. Uh, we're going to go across the log, even though we don't need to. And sploosh. I have... Oh, hello. I have a feeling... This is the wrong music for this island. 
I have a feeling the music that's currently playing, and even though it's going to be quite, um, it'll be turned quite far down, um, is the Endgame Island music, and it's not, the, it's not reached the trigger, or the trigger to stop playing hasn't been, uh, hasn't been set. So for this entire session, we're going to get the end game island music. Hmm, interesting. If you do have a bug like that, um, definitely. Oh no, no, witchcraft! I wanted to jump over you. Uh, if you do have a bug like that, just save, go back to the main menu, and then come back in again. Uh, the game is still being developed. I mean, it is beautiful. But there are only two people working on it, don't forget. Wait, what? I thought there were more. I thought there was a, a cast of thousands. Well, no, this isn't EA. Uh, and you can tell it's not EA because there are no loot boxes or gachapon systems. Whoop. There we go. That's much better. Much better. So occasionally when we've been out on um, on a on deep sea jaunt, uh, a goblin shark has spawned here. Of all places. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why that happens occasionally. Um, it shouldn't. It's a, definitely a bug that's happened. Um, but there has been a main update, so maybe that's stopped. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Wow. Good. Oh. There is another survivor's... No, no I, I, don't think, I, I don't think we need to go and have a look at that. We've already had the potato from here, and I realise we left the potato on the starting island. But there are four potatoes over there, so we should be able to generate some more fuel. Um, and yes, definitely look at the building a gyrocopter apart from a flying machine. Excellent. So yeah, if you uh, if you're wondering where the gyrocopter parts are, you have to find the end game carrier in order to start building that. Good. I think we've covered quite a lot, so I'm going to leave it there for the time being. If you're liking this, definitely leave a like, which, if you don't know what liking does, it helps the video get searched. Um, leave a comment, and if you don't know what that does, it's, uh, well, it's just for me, really. I, I just like hearing from people uh, from other parts of the world. And definitely subscribe and click the little bell. Uh, subscribing helps the channel in general because YouTube puts a lot of weight on subscribing and clicking the bell will give you notifications into your inbox. Wow. Uh, and I tell you what, I'll catch you next time.